So, um, yeah, I'm back. Um, from my last video, you guys know that I said that I was moving to California, um, and I did. I've been here for about three weeks now. You know, I have my family here. I have more family here um, than I did in Vegas, so I have more help. Um, the care is definitely better. Um, like I said, I was moving here to go to City of Hope because um, that's all they do is specialize in cancer. So, like I said, I've been here about three weeks now. I had my first appointment at City of Hope with um Dr. Um Stephen Lee. Um he's a gyno oncologist. Um and he was pretty cool. I met with him once. He ordered me um a PET scan. This was my first PET scan, mind you guys. I have been going through this since last you know, last year, since September. And this was my first PET scan. Um, he referred me to a radiologist, and her name is Dr. Helen Chin. She's amazing. Um, so, my first appointment was the 24th. I believe I had my PET scan. Mm, not this past Thursday, but the Thursday before. Um, if you guys don't know what a PET scan is, they inject you with some radioactive stuff. So when they do like the CT scan, it'll highlight everywhere that you have cancer. Um, you know, it's just something that get, they can see and they can see exactly where it's at. So um, I met with the radiologist this past Thursday. And, um, so, like I said, she's very really good. Um, they let me watch a video of what to expect for, um, radiology, um, for cervical cancer. Um, they let me know that, you know, I'm going to be going every day, um, Monday through Friday for that. I'm going to be doing chemotherapy once a week for right now so we went over the results for the pet scan and the um the pet scan showed that i you know have cervical cancer that the majority of the cancer is in my cervix however my cancer did spread it's in my abdomen abdomen i have a few nodules um they're up to my belly button um and they're like deep in the tissue so um like i said i was a stage three then um she didn't restage me but you know from what she was saying from what i could gather because you know after a while i started to after a while, I just started to zone out. Of course, I was crying. And she cried with me and stuff. Because it's, it's very sad. But. What she was saying is that. Because it's like in my tissue. Like, I could be doing chemotherapy for. For like the remainder of my life, however long that is, she did say that um, you know she thinks that we can that she can get me to live a long life. Um, she said years, but she was like, you know, we want to get you to live to be to the next five to seven years. Like that's, I guess that's where they want to start. So, you know, but that's just depending on my, on, on me, my body, what it can handle. I don't know how my body's going to, um, you know, take to radiation, to, um, to the chemotherapy or whatever. So, Tuesday, 
um, this coming Tuesday, I meet with I meet with the um, chemotherapy doctor, and then like you know we'll go from there. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, you know my granny was there with me. You know, the doctor, she cried with me. She hugged me. She helped me. It's just like, she just kept saying, like, how, you know, she didn't want to tell me. How could you, you know, put a life expectancy on somebody who's 29? Like, it was just like, you know, it was already a lot. Them telling me, like, I couldn't have kids. But now they they telling me, like... You know, this is something I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life. But, you know, who knows what the rest of my life is. Like, you know, we just don't know right now. So, it's just like, you know, since then I've just been sleep a lot. Uh, um, they want me to see somebody. So, when I go up there on on Tuesday, I have to go see, like, a, a basically a social worker. They want me to talk to somebody. I just been sleep. You know, my family is just everywhere. And you know, I don't really know how to handle this. Like I don't really know how to handle this. Like I feel like I'm dealing with a lot of regret right now because I feel like I wasted my my time doing stupid stuff, not like, you know, not <clears throat> enjoying you know my life to the way I could have enjoyed it you know all last year it was a lot of stuff I missed out with my family because of my job you know I don't even have my job like you know I got my nephew and my nephews and my niece like you know I want to see them grow up like I don't want to go before my granny it's just a, it's a lot to take in my family went through this twice with cancer and then my granny had to bury her granddaughter a month ago like and then now we going through this like i just don't you know i don't want to put my grandmother through this and i wish i couldn't so ladies guys if you guys are watching you guys need to get get checked be your advocate get your checkups you guys need to do everything to make sure that you, your health is everything because these doctors don't give a fuck. They won't, you know, I went for a pap smear in 2018. Apparently, I've been living with this shit for a long time. They never told me anything. They never told me any fucking thing. And here I am. I got to tell my fucking family that, you know, my cancer is spreading and, you know, we better... We got to get with the shits. Like, you feel me? You guys have to be your own advocate. You have to. You have to because nobody is going to do it. And if you got healthcare professionals in your family, you know, reach out to them. Thank God for them. My sister is an RN. My mom is an LVN. And thank God for them because without them, I could not medically understand like I would there wouldn't be shit for me to get done I'm just in like I don't know I'm just I don't know I don't know I don't, I don't know you guys um a lot of you guys um I don't know why you guys have a lot of questions for me and I'm willing to answer what I didn't remember to answer when I was um, in this video. But um, that's what's going on. It has spread to my stomach area. And yeah. So when I go to this appointment on Tuesday and... May let me know a little more into details. I definitely be remember. I will remember to write a lot of stuff down so I can, you know, do continue to do the videos for as long as possible. I mean, at this point, um, 
you know, I'm, I'm in a lot of pain all the time. I'm always in pain. I mean, the doctors, I don't know if they just weren't believing me. I'm black. I'm fat. Like, you know, they like to downplay a lot of shit. So my pain wasn't isn't under control for a long time. But this doctor, you know, she's just willing to make me comfortable. You know, she's amazing. I put my full faith into her. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Like I said, feel free to message me. Um, I'm my Facebook name for those who you know don't personally know me, but you know want to keep in contact. My name is my name on Facebook is Bree B R E Gilmino. Um, I'll leave the link because I know my last name is kind of hard to spell. Um, and yeah, thank you guys.